Hey, it's Marchie with the Asking Spot. In this go around, I am asking, can I recycle or upcycle some, uh, this kind of thing? They're art, you hang them on the wall. Yeah. Can I do that and give it like a 3D paint effect? That's what we're gonna go for. Um, there's another piece I'm also gonna be working on. It's, uh, now that one, gotta be honest here, that one actually came from my home, had it years and years and years ago. So, still had it, wasn't hanging up, just kind of sitting around, so to change it up, not a big deal. This is also another non-original art piece I picked up, and I got it at a thrift store, and at first you're like, oh, that's not a bad thing. Look at, somebody actually wrote with a magic marker on this. Who would do that? I'll leave that alone. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't feel too bad about changing this one up at all. So here's what we're gonna need to do. First, we're gonna clean them like we do with anything else. 50-50 uh, water vinegar solution, you know the drill. And then I'm gonna put a base coat of a chalk paint on it. And then after that, it's kind of weird. Like you have pretty much a canvas piece. If you want it, if you're really like super great artist, go to town. This is a cheap way to get canvas for you. Or oh, better still, if you're just starting out as an artist and you don't know if you're any good, Go get some cheap canvas this way and you're upcycling and it's great. I decided to give a test run to both spackling and joint compound. later here are our results uh, this was the one that everybody was like oh yeah go with you know spackling that works uh, not so much now try not to pay attention to what I did because that might be the problem um, it's just what it feels like I was I want it's kind of it's kind of gross still pliable and gooey very creepy not good it down. It's Why are you touching that? Why are you touching that? It's just not right. I'm actually thinking about scraping this off. The other hand, the one we did with a uh, joint compound, this one feels great. I'm getting ready to paint it. Again, try not to look at what I did because you can do that endlessly better however you want to do it. But as far as actually having something to paint on, I think I like this. And this is just a reminder that this is not anything you want going in your drain or any water system because it will group together and clog things up and, you know, not good.
All right, I think at least one of these pictures needs some beach umbrellas. Now I've gone through my house and looked around and tried to find the perfect circle making piece and uh, turns out I think my makeup had the best circles. I also grabbed some q-tips though so I'm going to give those a shot and see what works best on this piece. To make sure that this doesn't look like just a bunch of dots thrown onto a canvas, I gotta give it some depth. And I'm gonna do that by adding shadow. I'm mixing up a little black here. I think it's like a black gray. I'm mixing with a little bit of white and some water because I do kind of want it slightly translucent, but I don't want it runny. I'm gonna dab these on, let them dry, and then I'll apply the uh, dots for the colorful umbrellas. Only I'm going to make sure that, let's say this is my circle for the shadow. I'm going to have each dot placed on top of these shadows at hopefully the right angle. So it all looks like the sun's hitting them all the same. So they're going to be slightly askew in the same way. It's top coat time and I'm going to try and do something different. I'm going to try and put a gloss top coat on the water part and then a matte top coat on the sand part. Before we look at what we finally came up with, let's take a look at where things started. And if you could, please consider subscribing, clicking the like button, and making a comment. Helps out the algorithms with YouTube, and it helps the channel. So thank you, thank you so much for doing that. And now, the finish. Okay, so maybe not a masterpiece, but I have made these with two beach-loving friends of mine in mind and I hope they will like it and if nothing else if it inspired you to maybe do something completely different maybe you know add no color whatsoever just make it a monotone piece or make it something with geometric shapes or I'm thinking maybe I might try it again for myself and do a winter scene hmm. anything that can inspire you to actually look at something twice before it ends up in a landfill give it a repurpose reuse hey that works in my book Thanks so much for watching the Asking Spot Got Bloopers next. So I'm gonna go for it, blah, 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 blah. So it doesn't look just like some polka dots on a beach. And trucks. And if you could, please click that subscribe button. Um, somewhere. Well, before we look at the finale, 